So, this is a message for Louis Farrakhan, which is actually somebody that I can say that I'm actually proud of exists in the world, considering he knows and he fights for what I consider to be the right thing generally to fight for, and um, only certain people would even know what I'm referring to, but, you know, he he recently came out and said he was condoning the implementation of Sharia law in human societies and and uh, of course in the only societies but you see there's a there's a superstition and as pleasant as it may seem to chop off the hand of a thief or stone the husband who cheated on his wife or and broke up the family and um, and to behead the rapist it's ultimately carried out by humans. The superstition is that somehow God is behind it. And so there's a certain level of hypocrisy when Farrakhan knows what corruption is and uh, how corrupt the United States has, has become and for him to for him to uh, condone giving so much power Sharia law basically even grants even more power to the uh, to the state to a centralized authority and this is um, this is just dangerous because they can obviously frame you I mean look at how corrupt our our government is how corrupt our country is and and uh, you know like um, I would just not feel safe, uh, say, opposing somebody powerful, and then they frame me, and then I get my hand chopped off, or I get my head chopped off. And then he attacked America, which he's done a bunch of times, and I don't necessarily blame him, because he sees, but he sees, he sees the corruption as sort of being, now, he knows where the corruption is, but he thinks that it's not say these Zionists who is doing it, he thinks that these are that these are, I hate to say it, that this is the result of um, of Western I don't like to get race involved because I don't think he's, he's, he's a racist. I mean he believes in, in the sovereignty of the races and in some ways I can see how and I agree and to some extent but oh, what I mean to say is that you can't blame the Americans uh, by virtue of them being Western because you have to understand that when I talk, in fact, it relates to the Sharia law problem, you know, when you oppose the king for the past one, you know, for about a thousand years, the European people were in feudal societies and uh, which is like just open corruption open centralization open I'm I'm a slave of another man and um, and when you oppose the king you did so knowing that the penalty of treachery was that you were of treason was that you were uh, that you were publicly castrated your intestines were uh, were pulled out a decision was made and your intestines were pulled out and um, if you were lucky you were then beheaded but if you were unlucky they went ahead and went on to the next step which was that all of your limbs were tied to four different horses and you were pulled into four different pieces. This was called being drawn and quartered. Now, now in fact when you see those people wearing the Guy Fox mask, these anonymous groups, that's exactly who they're, um, you know, it relates to that because Guy Fox was uh, going to be committed of treason uh, convicted of treason, uh, but he instead uh, jumped 
from a high place and, and broke his neck because he did not want to be drawn and quartered. Uh, you know why, why he's espoused? I'm not, you know, I'm not exactly sure, but uh, he was in fact um, trying to overthrow the king, liberate, liberate his, liberate the common people and stuff. Uh, so what? So what am I trying to say? Oh, uh, that's it. Yeah. Oh, uh, but I, you know, I just, I would invite uh, Farrakhan and his ministry to consider. That that the superstition uh, which has got us to this point, to this level of corruption, this, for instance, things like Zionism, uh, the offspring of superstitious thinking, are you know you can't combat it with other superstitious thought and Sharia law or to propose that Sharia law would be a cure for some of our problems, which are ultimately the result of um, superstitious thinking. Uh, you know, you know, not, not necessarily. I mean, there's obviously gut emotions like greed and things like that. But when you look, and Farrakhan knows this, when you, when you look, it's the, it's the, uh, it's the factors like greed and, and uh, selfishness, which are being used by people to advance their religious and superstitious motivations. Zionism is an example of this. Uh, so yeah, you might have uh, politicians involved in pedophilia, but they're in pedophilia because somebody set them up to uh, be compromised and to take orders from essentially people who have interests which are related to advancing the the cause of their religion. So it's actually just this titanic force of uh, of uh, hypocrisy. But you know he hits hard. He's he's right about a lot of things. I can agree with him uh, regarding the Zionist conspiracy theory. So okay, I would I I hope you would see this and think about it.